The song is called Sukar, a South Sudanese word for sugar. Marcy Akwart's past has been anything but sweet. She fled South Sudan's civil war with her family, settling in Uganda. At the age of 15, she had to flee again, this time from her own family, which wanted to force her into marriage and from gender-based violence. She later fled again, from the Kenya's Kakuma camp to the Dadaab refugee camp. When I came to Dadaab, life here was really difficult because I had already built a life in Kakuma. I was having a career and starting afresh was really hard. Settling in was really hard. I faced other challenges. Never stop, never stop. Music remained the one thing she could hold on to and use to spread messages. Most refugees in the Dadaab camp are of Somali origin, with a minority from Rwanda, Democratic Republic of Congo, South Sudan and Ethiopia. Although religious and ethnic differences mean many residents do not follow her music, she was undeterred. She now takes media and entrepreneurship classes with Filmaid, a non-profit organization that uses film to educate and entertain displaced people. I saw that as an opportunity to find a purpose again because I was totally doing nothing. Because I was already working in that field in Kakuma, I wanted now to get hands on, get to touch the camera, do the edits, shoot a video, brand myself, and then I can now do these things for myself and build the woman I want to be. Now, Mercy is a mother of three. She is married to a South Sudanese man who helps her with her music. Her youngest daughter joins her in class because Mercy has no one to leave her with. The World Refugee Day this year focuses on solidarity with refugees. A court says her goal is for her children to have a different life than she had. A life where they can be a citizen of a country. They can live a normal life like other people, compete for same opportunities as, as other people, have free movement as other people, not to be tagged as refugees. Because refugee, being a refugee comes with uh, a lot of baggage, but still it tells a lot of the, pay, the painful stories of people. So I want to be the last one in my family to have to tell that kind of story. I want them to enjoy something that I've not enjoyed. For now, she's focusing on her family and music. What people say is uh, time heals, but I don't think that time heals. I think we, we learn to, to live with the pain, accept it, it has happened, and move on. Live with the pain, because there are times it comes back, but we, we learn to manage it. She hopes that women and girls around the world can be inspired with her story. This is my story. Yeah, my story. Saida Swale, VOA, Dadab, Kenya. Yeah.